A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by demons begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said, Go to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you. We're catching this very quick little passage on the heels of Jesus saving this man from the demons that possessed him and sending them into the herd of swine. It's a very dramatic and intense story. And immediately after the story, all of those who witnessed this um, healing, this miracle, sent Jesus out of town. They want him to leave. But the man who's been healed understands. He understands that Jesus is something special, something unique, something that he wants to be close to and be with. So much so that he wants to leave everything behind and follow Jesus. But that's not what Jesus needs him to do. Jesus needs him to go to his own people and tell them what God has done for him. This is evangelism in the simplest terms. Evangelism is the opportunity to share the story of how Jesus, how God has worked in our lives, how God has healed us, how God has loved us, and to share that story with our own people, with our families, with our friends, the people who work with us. It's not about conversion. It's simply about sharing a story of love. When we love something, when something has transformed our lives, we want other people to have that too. When I see a good movie, I want other people to see this movie that I've really enjoyed. When I've made a good recipe, I share that recipe with friends because I think they're going to enjoy it. It's the same with our faith. When I have experienced the love of God in deep and powerful ways, I should want to share that with my people, with the people that I love. And that's what Jesus commanded this man to do after he was healed, to go share that story. It's not hard. It's just sharing about something you love. Amen.